what happened to me in the 60s shouldn't have happened. I was the wrong shape, the wrong height, the wrong size. I didn't look like any other models. Hi all, it's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you doing? It's great to have your company. We're back on the film festival trail. It's our home film festival, the London Film Festival. It's coming up in October. We just met with a bunch of filmmakers whose films you're going to be hearing a lot about during the festival. So let's go and find out more. the London Film Festival press launch and with two amazing women who are going to introduce themselves now to you. I'm Twiggy and I'm Sadie Frost. And you've made a documentary about... She's made a documentary she's, yes, about of course. me. About <laughs> why? Well, she's amazing. She's very talented. She's had a, um, an amazing legacy. Her career spanned long time long time 50 years. <laughs> 50 years and I just wanted to set I want to celebrate women I want to tell stories about women in beautiful ways and you know inspire young women and other women older women can celebrate her life so it's been three years to make this film because um, there's a lot to put it get in there there is <laughs> and we had some brilliant um, interviews so we like working with people like Dustin Hoffman's schedule Sienna Miller's schedule Stella McCartney's schedule so we had lovely people in it archive to work with has taken a long time and we finally have finished it yeah. um, and Twiggy why why her in particular well I just think there's like when you under also as a, as a filmmaker for me sometimes you maybe want to make something if you don't understand something somebody or something but I really felt like an affinity with Mary Quant and then when I did that doc and with Twiggy it's the same thing like I feel like I kind of kind of understand and, and I it's like not like all well, a connection and I and I feel that connection and I want that connection to kind of be explored and to get out there and my mum loves her I love her my daughter loves her you know it's like Three generations you know exactly has to say that. No, no, it's, no, true. I, it's true look, I don't even have to say who you are <laughs> your name goes before you how does it feel to be a subject of a documentary well I, I was uh, I I'd been asked many times mm, before to, to do one um, and I kind of always backed away and got you know it's weird watching your life on screen but I'd known Sadie for a little bit over the years and and when she came on my podcast to talk about the Quant documentary which is a wonderful documentary on Mary Quant and um, it came out out of that interview didn't it because I said are you going to do another one and she said oh, I'd love to I love the the quant because I love the 60s and maybe I should do another one about somebody in the city. Oh, I should do you. <laughs> Literally and then, like that. And, and then... I went, oh, oh, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> so we went out for lunch and here we are three years later yeah. at the London Film Festival. Brilliant. What do you think the Twiggy story about the 60s tells us today in 2024? I think that you can do anything. I think... Um, your daughter says a brilliant um, thing in the film, like women are brilliant and you are brilliant, mum. And this film celebrates women. And, um, you know, I think if you're young or old or a man or, ever, you know, it just, it's just a very positive story. And, you know, there's so much negativity out there. And I think to kind of sit and celebrate someone's life and also be taken on a journey, cultural journey, you see how, you know, the world's changed, the UK's changed, how the role of women have changed you know, like iconic fashion, you know, kind of parts of the film and music. It's just like, there's so much in it that it's just great to be entertained. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of seeing things that make me feel bad. This does not make you feel bad. No. And the final word from you. What, what, uh, what can you say about the longevity of your, your amazing career? <laughs> Well, I've been very lucky. Let's put it that way. No, no, I mean, I, more I think, than that. Um, well, thank you. Um, I think, I think that obviously the message in the film as well is that, you know, I, I came, what happened to me in the 60s shouldn't have happened. I was the wrong shape, the wrong height, the wrong size. I didn't look like any other models. But, you know, it happened to me and, I, and I, I followed through. And then every time I was given a chance to do something else, like being a film, be on Broadway, it was scary, but I thought, What's the worst that can happen? They're not, no, you know, they're not going to shoot me, hopefully. Um, and I think the message for me is, you know, go for it and believe in yourself and, and you know, and, and work with people you love. I've always, the reason I wanted to do it with Sadie, because I'd been asked many times about okay. doing it, is that I trusted her, I love her, and we become really, we knew each other, but we become, I think, very good friends. Yeah. 
<laughs> and they have good for women. Yeah, no. <laughs>